and welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i will go over how i will budget my first paycheck for january 2022 so if you're interested stay tuned don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below let's get started so when i do my budget i use the budget by paycheck from the budget mom which i've purchased um here and i flip over in january this is how I budget. So I budget each paycheck. Okay. So this is my first pay. And we'll start off with income. So this is not my income. This is my disposable income. So whatever income I get, I take away all my bills. And whatever's left is for savings. So this is my disposable income. So it is six fifty that I have here. Again. Because I'm not going to disclose my bills because my bills are, they automatically come out from my checking account. So that is the reason why you don't see any bills listed here. So after the bills, you move on to cash envelopes. Okay. So for this amount, I put here, this is what I have left. Right. And then I start off with my groceries. My cash envelopes are used every week. So um, my groceries, I'm going to stuff $150. Spending, I'm going to stuff $60. Gas, I'm going to stuff $30. Kids, $20. And then I also was debating if I should add an eating out envelope. And I did listen. I received a comment. And uh, they said that it, it's best that I do actually have an eat out envelope instead of using my spending envelope. Or my spending money, so I added an eat out uh, envelope, and I'm gonna stuff forty dollars in it. Okay, and then when I add not this amount, but when I add all my cash envelopes, they total three hundred dollars. All right, so when I take six hundred and fifty, subtract three hundred, I get three fifty. That's my leftover. Okay, let me put this aside, and then we're gonna go into the sinking funds okay so my sinking funds what i have left over is 650 i didn't put the amount there or sorry 350 i didn't put the amount there but it's 350 now i'm going to stuff my sinking funds i'm going to put 120 in my emergency fund uh 15 dollars in my boys clothing car maintenance will get 15 my clothing will get 15 summer holidays will get 20 back to school will get five house will get five my one of my kids will be getting this is their savings account uh so they'll be getting 25 and then my youngest will be getting 25 as well so that totals 245 so i take 350 subtract 245 and i have left over 105 okay and this is extra debt that you want to pay off. This is scratched off as well because, again, my main focus is stuffing my emergency fund. So now I have extra savings. Extra savings is all my saving challenges. So I have 105 left. My scratch off challenge, I'm going to put 35. So I scratched off two gems. Um, one was 20 and one was 15. And a total 35. Also, in my previous uh, saving challenges video, I rolled the die and I landed on 10, or where I have to save $10 for Monopoly. So I added that into my budget. And so $10 will be going, I'll be stuffing for Monopoly. A 100 envelope is $60. Um, for this, now I would like to hear from you guys, okay? So um, with this challenge here, I could put the $60 in one envelope, which is 60 or I could split this two ways, or I could split it three ways. Kindly let me know what I should do. Leave a comment down below if I should put the $60 in one envelope, or I should split it two ways, or three ways. When I mean split it two ways, I could put 30 dollars in one envelope and 30 in another or three ways which is twenty dollars in one twenty dollars in another and twenty dollars in the last envelope so kindly let me know okay and so for this amount here 
this total is up to 105 so when i take 105 here and then minus 105 i get zero all right and then again total income which is my disposable income 650 and then i subtract my envelopes my sinking funds and my extra savings and i get a zero okay so now i'll put that there then onto my cash envelope breakdown. Let me just do that. Okay. So my cash envelope breakdown. We are going to do groceries, 150, and then I break them down by denomination. Okay. And as you can see, I've listed them all. All right. And then we get to the bottom here and we do the total count. So the total count meaning you're counting all your denominations. So for instance, you have $100. You're going to have one $100 bill. So I put one there. Two $50 bills. I put two there. And so forth. Okay. And then the total value is how much uh, your account is worth. So one $100 bill is 100. Two 50s is 100. And so forth. Okay, and for that amount here, it will total, if I add all these up, which I will do now, okay, so I'm going to take 100 plus 100 plus 200 plus 170 plus 80, and I have a total of $600, okay, and then that is my budget, all right, and then when I'm finished with this, I will take a teller slip now in her book i she always had the teller slips at the end of each month so here's six of them because you never know how many weeks people get paid so she has six of them at the back here so what i've done i have already filled out my teller slip which i will be taking to the bank and then they will take this out of my um my checking account and give me the cash and then i'll come back and i'll do the cash envelope stuffing okay all right that's it for this video thank you so much for watching take care and stay safe